Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Vivs from SlideNerd here. In this video, I'm going to talk about fragments in Android. Now if you guys are beginners, this is probably one of the most trickiest things you have in Android. The resources at developer.android.com are good but not enough. So in this video, we are going to discuss what is a fragment, why do you need it and what you can do with it. So first question, what is a fragment? Here I have an activity, activity 1. When the user clicks on the activity or performs some action with it, eventually at some point he's going to go to activity 2. This used to be the traditional navigation model so far before Android 3.0. After Android 3.0, let's see how things have changed. Again, you have an activity, but this time you have a block called fragment 1, fragment 2, fragment 3. Now, when I say block, what I'm trying to mean is the user interface component or you can say a part of the user interface so now the user performs some action with fragment 1 and there you go fragment 2 and 3 disappear and in place comes fragment 4 which is another small chunk of the user interface as developers of Android usually call it so this is the fragment model what has changed within the same activity you can have different chunks of the user interface and you can activate or deactivate those chunks based on certain user actions and that is what fragments are all about. So again, let's review what a fragment is. Fragment is a part of the user interface to be very specific. It's a fragment 1 and there's fragment 2. Fragment 1 is a list view. Fragment 2 is an image view. Based on what the user selects in the list view, you can make changes in the image view within the same activity without the user having to navigate to a different activity and that is the best part about fragments now fragments have their own life cycle and just like activities they have a mini life cycle as well they can process their own events they can be added or removed while the activity runs now just like I showed you guys in the previous slide I swapped some fragments out I changed something and made a lot of changes dynamically in the user interface and it can happen right when the activity is running they were introduced in honeycomb api 11 you can use fragments on older devices from 1.6 to 2.3 using a support library that we'll be discussing about as we go further into this video now let us take a look at how fragments would actually look in a real scenario you have an activity inside some app you select the contact you see more details about the contact in a separate activity this used to be the traditional old way now take a look at the more modern way you have a single activity you have fragments right inside the activity as you change the selection in the left fragment your content in the middle fragment changes and your right fragment includes some other data that can be shown all three to the user at the same time and that is what fragments look like in real life so why do you need fragments activity a to activity b and activity a with two fragments which is our modern style combine several fragments in a single activity now this is one of the things you would be expected to do in your modern apps reuse the same fragment across several activities yes each fragment has its own layout which is separate just like an activity having its own layout so you can use the fragment across several activities and the most important part comes here make better use of space on tablets traditionally a tablet has a lot of screen space to be more precise and as you add activities they feel kind of blank when they have nothing more but using fragments you can have several fragments within the same activity and that gives the user or you a better opportunity to reuse the extra available screen space you can support different layouts on the portrait and landscape modes flexible user interface design this is one of the most important things that fragment supports of course in my video playlist as we go further I will show you an example of how you can make a separate layout for the portrait and landscape and how you can make it work uses of fragments what are the different uses you can have first one is to create fixed scrolling swipe tab displays now here if you notice this is a tab this is how things look for a tab when you say fixed tab it's the normal one when you say swipe tab 
you just swipe on the screen and the tab changes and when you say scrolling tab it has a very similar effect of course we will be discussing what is the great detail of difference between each of these tabs in the upcoming videos dialog boxes dialogs are made purely using fragments as of now older times they were done using a different approach but now it's strictly fragments and action bar customization with the list and tab modes now if you guys remember action bar is this thing which you see at the top every app has this part where you can add some menu items you can add some tabs you can add a list like this a vertical drop down list inside your action action bar and stuff like that so all these customizations are possible with fragments so hopefully you guys have understood the basics of fragments as in what they do and why they are needed in the next video we are going to talk about the life cycle of fragments something which many people have been waiting for so in the meantime if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day